Okay, I started off with my moisturizer and this is the strobe cream one. My skin was feeling so dry this day, so I needed something extra. And so I used the strobe one and then later on I ended up using my Nivea aftershave balm. This stuff is amazing. It's so good. It like really, I can't really do my makeup without it. Then for my foundation, I ended up mixing two. I wanted high coverage, but I wanted a little bit of softness, which is what the face and body does. So I mixed both of those together um, and... I just really like the way it turned out. It gives me it gives me that like perfection that the Studio Fix Fluid does, but then it also gives me a little bit of that lightness that face and body does, which I really enjoyed. Then I'm using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. This one is in medium deep, and I'm spreading that all over with my Beauty Blender. Then I use my my lip cream from MAC, it's that lip conditioner. But the first color I'm using right now is with a fluffy brush, I'm using soft brown. I just needed something really quick to transi transition. I realized as I was editing this, I'm like, huh, this looks really familiar. I, I do this look all the time. So if you feel like you've seen this look, you have. But this is how I'm doing it. Um, actually, I did it a little different this time though. So then I'm using the soft brown and I'm blending it out and then I'm using amber lights with a flat brush. I'm packing it all with my flat brush, putting it on the spots where I need it and then taking a fluffy brush and just blending out the outer edge. This is like so important that girls forget. Just blend out the outer edge. Don't go on top of the actual eyeshadow, just go on the very edge of it and you're gonna see how much like smoother your eyeshadows look together. Then what I did too is I kind of pulled my eye taut, which I nor don't normally do except with these kind of shimmery shadows, and then I applied the shadow again and then blended it out. It just kind of gave more pigment. Then I'm using handwritten with an angled brush, and I'm just dabbing that along the lash line. I didn't want anything so harsh. I was going to do a wing liner, but I was like, I feel like I've done that. So I just did a very subtle, soft, kind of smoky um edge with that dark color so I did that both sides I did it with a little bit of the light pencil liner and then I just smudged it out with a flatter like a little bit more of a fluffier brush but it's still kind of flat so I'm doing the same side same thing on the other end and my camera went crazy What I ended up doing also is just adding a little, like tapping my brush with a little bit more of that handwritten and just putting it on the outer crease. I just felt like it needed a little bit more something. The color wasn't dark enough. I didn't want to use black and I just wasn't feeling it. So then the next thing that I did is I took the color Floof from MAC. It's very high shine pigment, crazy shimmery. And I put that in the very center of the lid. I just felt like it gave it a little bit more pop and more dimension for my eyes. Then I'm gonna prepare my lashes. I'm gonna use um, falsies and then I'm using these eye um, lashes. I think they're the Demi Wispies. So now I'm taking the LA Girl concealer. I believe this one was in pure beige, which is lighter than the one that I usually use. I usually use creamy beige. I, I'll, I'll, I'll write the description below. But I use a little bit too much in this um, clip, but that's okay. So I usually just kind of blend it with the tip of the beauty blender and then at the with the butt of the beauty blender I kind of blend the outer edge just to, so it blends with my actual foundation color and then with my Laura Mercier powder I'm just putting a little bit more underneath the um, eyes just so that they don't crease so with handwritten again I'm using my kind of flat slash kind of chubbier brush and I'm rubbing that all over the bottom lash line I love a smoked out bottom lash line it's something that I really don't like to do without I can, but I just don't like to. So as much as I can, I will always buff out that bottom lash line. Now I'm taking the color Floof again, and I'm putting that on my inner corners and a little bit towards like the like one third of my eyes. And I'm using that with a flat brush, and it's gonna get all over your lashes. So make sure you do your mascara, bottom mascara afterwards. This is like some random one that I bought. I don't like it because it dries forever. I think it's stupid. Anyways, this is the um, NYX brow pencil in the color ash brown. And I'm gonna speed this up because it's kind of boring and I just show you one. That's really all it is. Oh, but what I did wanna show you guys is how I sometimes clean out my brush. So there's times um, where I find that the, the tip of the brow pencil isn't so sharp and it kind of makes like a, a rounded edge. So I always take a little, little bit of my color of concealer to sharpen up the edge. And I don't do it crazy, I just do it very softly and subtly. 
Now I'm using the color Shadester, which is my go-to um, MAC powder. This is like literally my exact match, my color. It's awesome. And I'm using a an e.l.f. brush. This e.l.f. brush has been my favorite. I will um, probably talk about this soon, but this e.l.f. brush is just awesome. It really helps with kind of laying the color down, but also getting into the grooves of certain pieces certain pieces, certain uh, grooves of my face too. So that's why I really like this brush, but I'm putting that all over my cheekbones and then the tops of my forehead. The forehead part is where I tend to get tanner, so I always wanna make sure that it looks tan there. Then with a softer brush, I'm taking this dual fiber one, it's really tiny. I just wanted to contour a little bit of my nose just so that it showed up and it appeared because sometimes my, again, whenever I use like a light foundation or like concealer, it'll make my nose disappear and I didn't like that. So then what I'm doing here, it's hard to see, so I saw, I'm sorry about that, but I took a black eyeshadow and I just kind of ran it across like the edges of my lashes. These lashes are kind of old, so they're kind of grimy and they pick up some, you know, colors and stuff. So this helps kind of clear up that lash line to make it look a little bit smoother and cleaner. Now I'm taking this Milani blush. It's real pretty. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it and um, I really like it and it was just a really good color for this look. So I'm taking that blush and I'm putting that on my cheekies. And then with this awesome highlighter, this is from Physicians Formula, it's one of my favorites. I put that with a uh, another e.l.f. brush, which I really like. This one is actually a blush brush. But anyways, I'm putting on the high planes of my cheekbones, like closest to kind of like, almost like the, like the orbital bone of my face and like where the cheekbone meets. And I always rub it across the edge of my brow too. Um, this product you have to kind of like scrape up, so that's what I did. And then for my lip liner, I'm using this red lip liner from NYX. I'll put all the description, all the details in the description below because I don't have all the stuff in front of me like I usually did. I filmed this forever ago. I filmed this like three weeks ago, you guys. It's so bad. So anyways, I'm using this lip liner and I'm lining my lips. This lip liner, it is intense. It like does, it's very waterproof. It's very, it's like, a, it's almost like a liquid lipstick like in a pencil form. It's intense, but it also accentuates ugly, gross, peely that happens to your lips and I will show you that in a second so then what I went over with uh, relentlessly red which is a retro matte or um is that right yeah retro matte lipstick from mac it made my lips disgusting and it's because I didn't exfoliate my lips and usually I have to like peel my lips and pick at them forever and I didn't do that so I was really grossed out and I was like oh my god this is gross so I did that I wiped it off made sure all the skin was gone and then I did it again and it was perfect so just make sure that you're exfoliating your lips um, I, there's never like one way to do it I don't know it just, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't for me I just always have to kind of do it again but I just reapplied the lipstick all over again and this relentlessly lipstick relentlessly red lipstick is awesome with a red lip liner it just looks so beautiful it's like hot pink but it's still like super hot red it's awesome I love it so this is the lip that I wore that day and I just felt like I needed to put a little bit more blush which I'll show you guys in a second but I hope you guys liked it just this eye is very simple but this lip makes it really exciting and definitely gets me excited for spring hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video bye